Good morning. I was totally not planning on doing this video, but here we are. Today's Saturday. It's going to be a very busy Saturday. I woke up a little late because um, I'm tired <laughs> and I took Stefano to the shop because he's working on his Jeep. And then now we're back home. We're doing breakfast. I have yogurt and fruit. She has yogurt and fruit. Make stuff inside of here. Okay. She um, like she likes to use both of these. So that's what Lexi's eating and drinking her chocolate milk. And I'm drinking my coffee. I'm gonna make some avocado toast. And we're gonna have a very busy, productive day. So I thought I'd bring you along with me. First, I wanna talk about Ana Luisa. Um, I have been wearing this every day since they sent it to me. Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand and I will link, leave links in the video description and I will go ahead and show you guys everything that I got from them. This is my most recent Ana Luisa haul. I absolutely love this initial necklace. I have worn it every day since I opened it. It is so beautiful and dainty and just the perfect layering piece. I've also worn it with this necklace as well and it looked so beautiful together. I've been wearing Ana Luisa jewelry for about a year now and I'm very impressed with the quality. All of their pieces are strength and humidity tested and their designs are affordable. They start at only $39. You can also get free and fast US shipping. All of their jewelry is backed by a two year warranty and you can save 20% by using my discount code in the video description. I just love Ana Luisa. They're such a good jewelry company. Me and Lexi both, I wear these earrings. I didn't get it from them this past time. Lexi's wearing their earrings right now. They're the perfect little hoops for her. I mean, she gets compliments on those every day. But I love their jewelry. It's so well made. And I'm not easily impressed when it comes to jewelry. So make sure to check out the Ana Luisa link in the video description. But let me get on to making some breakfast. Here is breakfast. Delish. I hope y'all are ready for a little mama chat while I sit and do the dishes. So I think you can tell from my voice this morning that I just really wasn't feeling it. And I never really know how to judge that because now that I'm in the final trimester, I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath right now as we're talking. And it's getting more difficult to do everyday tasks. Like putting on my shoes is more difficult. Just keeping up with the house is more difficult. So if you are going through this season with me, just know that you are not alone, first of all. Second of all, we'll get there. We'll get to it. But make sure that you take breath and take time for yourself. I've noticed the days that I do not give myself a break and I refuse to sit down, I will will already start swelling and that started with me at about 30 weeks with Luxie and I'm 29 weeks now. So even if you aren't pregnant, this is your reminder just to take some time for yourself. If you need to sit down for 15 minutes, do it girl. If you just need to lay down, do it girl. Your body is working through a lot of different things. Whether you're pregnant or not, being a mother to little children is exhausting in itself. So make sure that you're taking time for yourself. It doesn't have to be a full day thing. It doesn't even have to be an hour. It could be 10 minutes and it can really help fill your cup. So just a little reminder because I'm constantly having to remind myself these days and give myself grace. Look who came to see us, Colleen! Luxie and Cullen are cooking away. Yeah, and Luxie's brushing her teeth too, I guess. I was going to attempt to mow, but now my brother is here and he's going to mow for me. So that is fabulous. So the other day, Stefano grabbed my bog bag out of the back of my car and he had been working on his Jeep. So he had grease all over his hands. So it left these big grease <laughs> fingerprints on it, but I tried rubbing it off and it wouldn't. So I used this pink stuff on my little scrub daddy and it works really good. So highly recommend. I just got Luxie down for a nap. So now I am going to finish up this painting in Link's room. So I think we have hit the end of an era with Luxie. I'm pretty sure that we are dropping naps. And I hate that. I know she's almost four and most kids do not nap that long. 
but I've noticed at night it's harder to get her down to sleep. If she has a longer nap, she won't stay asleep for longer. So for the past three days, I have done no naps now and she is asleep before I'm even done saying my part of our prayers and that just is amazing to me. Like she's asleep by like 8.30. All right, I finally finished painting the wall in here and I've cleaned up a little bit, cleaned up like the paint and stuff. I need to go put some things away and me and Luxie are gonna go into the attic and see if I can find some like dry decks or something to fill holes in the wall in here. Super mom and super baby. Is that what we are? Yeah, because we have our headlights. I have mine on and she has hers on. Getting all messed up there. My lights. My light is smaller. Yeah. It's not bright. Yeah. Now we're right in the attic. So at some point tonight or today, I want to take down the crib, see what it looks like in the room. I didn't have any spackling or dry decks and my brother called and wanted to take the kids to see the Super Mario Bros movie so I dropped everything and that's what we did because sometimes that's just what you need to do when you're a parent. So that wraps up today's video but thank you so much for watching and make sure you check out the link in the video description to get 20% off your Ana Luisa purchase. Bye! <laughs>